very special time for all of us in the Ranger program. Some of the turtles we've had in our care for two and a half years. Uh, so we get pretty, pretty attached to the animals, but it, it's in a good way that we know we're, we're trying to get them back to a full health condition where we can release them back in the wild and then they've got a, a fighting chance to, to establish themselves back into the environment. Uh, the team effort with the rangers, they, they put in 110% every day to make sure that the water's at top quality. Uh, they, they prep their food every day so it's fresh. Um, it, it's just been an outstanding effort by all the rangers involved to get these animals back up and working in a, in a healthy condition. Five turtles go today. What, what do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> it feels pretty good, eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's sad to see them go. I think. Yeah, because you've been with them for so long. Some of the turtles mm. have been in a tank for two years. Yeah. So get... Yeah, they won't be able to swim round and round. <laughs> yeah, they'll be able to swim straight on. Mm. <laughs> Mixed emotions, but I'm happy to see them go. Yeah. But same, yeah. Learn to love them. Yeah, cool. Look after them and want to go back to my country and talk, talk about looking after the tails too as well. It's, it's, it's good seeing them go, but you know, feeding them every day and stuff like that, you know, it just makes you sad seeing them go. Like, but yeah, if they were your pets, you know, you, you, all they are our pets, we're just letting them go. Like we've fixed them up now, and so they're all good to go. We've got to let them go. We can't just keep them. Yeah. It's a relief, but um, sad at the same time. You know, we get to know them and become part of the family, part of the work program, yeah. and um, get to know a turtle more better than only a, a turtle. We've got two different species. Yeah. Um, the hawksbill and the green green turtle. So. You get to know them good and see what they're up against out in the wild and how we can rehabilitate them to send them back. I think it's an awesome feeling because we had them, had these guys for two years, you know, and bring them back to their health, you know, and release them back into their natural habitat, yeah, so I think it's good. <laughs> program that's where all our funding comes from now we won't have any turtles in um, in the tanks but that's not saying we won't have any in the near future you know with the wet season coming on cyclones bound to come bring some more in so hope we can have a bit of a rest before the next lot start fly floating in the turtle hospital still has a lot of work to do we have been getting better though I mean considering we started in our backyard at home um, and at that time we, I think we had three tanks in our backyard, so filling up a thousand litre tank manually, bringing it home and doing that however many times just to fill tanks for three turtles. Now we have a pump shed and pump station set up so that we can fill different tanks. We've managed to have six turtles at one time here. Still takes a lot of work. Um, the guys, they work from, you know, seven o'clock if they get here at that time until lunchtime sometimes just trying to get the tanks cleaned out turtles fed and that's done daily so it's getting better but it's a lot of work some of the challenges in, in uh, keeping a turtle rehabilitation centre running? Well it's um, doing like the uh, feeding, um, the water, make sure it's nice and clean. Um, sometimes we have ups and downs of clean water, dirty water, depending on the tide. But um, yeah, starting to pump up to make sure we've got good um, water flow and um, just to make sure that the uh, turtle is very comfortable. Um, 
in the end tanks and that. Like how to clean tanks and stuff like that, you had to do it properly. No, no like mucking up or anything, no leaving dirty stuff in the tank or anything. You had to clean it properly and like, you know, make sure there's no germs or use another brush to another tank. You have to use the same brush, like stuff like that, you know, so you don't spread germs to other turtles. You know. Is there anything else that you would like to add regarding the turtles? Uh, just to make sure that, um, you know, people at, at um, like fishing and all that, make sure they, you know, don't chuck in plastic bags. Um, yeah, just to respect the uh, turtles' environment and, um, yeah, just to um, look after them. And um, if there's any um, um, floaters or um, Indian turtle that can ring, ring the ranges and we respond to it very quickly and try to get them back to, um, to what they were. But what I would have had is thanks for the other rangers for the, you know, everybody for putting their footbridge in and helping. Yeah, so it's just for good for everybody, so yeah. to release five turtles down on the beach from our rehabilitation centre. Can you, can you tell me a bit about what you're feeling about that? I'm happy, excited to get out in the reef and back with their family. Yeah, cool. Yeah, what about you, Rocco? Yeah, happy because they're healed now. They're all healed up? Yeah. Very good. Anything else you want to share with us about turtles? Um, don't touch them. Don't take their eggs out of their laying eggs and don't ride them. Don't ride them, yeah. What about rubbish? Don't chuck rubbish in the water, but then they can swallow and die. Yeah. Is it just rubbish in the, in the no. water? No. What, what else? There's um, poisonous fish, yeah. sharks, crocodiles, yeah. people. You guys know where the turtles are going? In the no. sea, in the ocean. Sea, yeah. uh, ocean. What's that? Better. This facility was set up initially as a turtle rehabilitation centre, which means general public, if they, they find a sick or injured turtle, they could contact us or RSPCA Turtle Strand Net line on 1300 264 625 or 1300 animal and they will contact us with the location of that animal and we can go out in the boats and re retrieve them um, bring them back to the the rehabilitation center and start medicines and food for them so we you know we've, we've got six tanks empty now we we haven't had any come in for a while uh, but we do urge any of the public if, if they do come across sick or injured marine animals to ring that number and and, and try and get them some some help uh, turtles are very important animals in the ecosystem and, and they're also very important culturally so we try to encourage a, a speedy response to, to make sure they get the best chance they can.